what's up everybody so today we're going to be discussing two pair of boots western style boots uh on this side these are the herman survivor marshalls you can get them on uh, walmart's website for about 79 dollars and over here i got the durango rebels which were about 169 dollars at bass pro but you could get them through various outlets between the prices of 140 to 170 dollars all right so looking at both boots both of them look pretty nice pretty snazzy right um what i will say is it's a given that this one is going to have a higher grade of quality uh the material is soft all over material is soft the leather around all the way around feels like a baseball mitt i also noticed that this boot is fairly lightweight i have not worn this out in public yet i just got them a few days ago but um, when i tried them on these things felt like sneakers on my feet they're extremely lightweight um, so that's definitely a nice plus now a con that i had was the pitiful insole but to be fair they have like this uh shock absorbent material at the bottom of your boot that is really squishy so that makes up for what's not here the tread is nice at the bottom i like the design and overall i think that they're pretty nice and they were worth the money uh kind of kind of because i do feel like it could have been better in certain aspects um i feel like um this could have been much better this right here is one of them it could have been better, but I've also read reviews of people saying that when they used them for work, they didn't really like them for work. These are just more of an everyday wear, but not a, an actual work boot, uh, which doesn't bother me much because I'm not using them for work purposes. I'm just using them to wear. So that works for me. All right. So I really enjoy this boot um, quite a bit. I think it's a really nice boot. Let's go over here to the uh marshals the marshals are also really nice i mean i look at it more so from the price point you cannot expect a 169 dollar boot for 79 dollars you can't you can't expect that type of quality for a 79 dollar boot uh the realities of it is there are going to be some things that are good and bad about this boot there's probably going to be more things that are bad about this boot if you have other boots like this over here right so my initial impression when i took these out of the box was these are damn nice boots they're nice and surprisingly the quality is pretty nice for being walmart and for being only a 79 dollar boot okay now here are some things that stood out to me they're heavy these boots are heavy compared to these. These things are like shoes. This is heavy. This feels like a boot. This feels, these feel like a shoe and these feel like just straight up boots. All right. You get a nice insole that is pretty thick, but I don't like the upper material on it because it causes my foot to slip a little bit. I don't like that. I feel like they could have used a different type of material that wasn't so slippery. But the con is on the inside of the boot, it does not have any cushion. It's just hard. It's just a hard bottom, a hard bare bottom. Another thing is, you see how this leather doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like traditional leather. It's really smooth in some areas, rough in some areas. But then it's smooth in some areas where this is just a consistent, buttery, smooth finish. Well, that's because this is also man-made as leather and man-made mix. Both boots, unfortunately, are made in China. I say unfortunately because I just feel like any boot that got red, white, blue on it does not need to, to be made in China. This should have been a made in the USA. 
But I expected that from Walmart. I'm not shocked about that. Tread at the bottom. Not bad. I have worn these out and about, as you can see. Not bad. And I do feel like they kind of run a little narrow in the, in the toe box. It would have been nice if they just gave you a little bit more space up here. But it's not something that would, would be overly bothersome. Also, this material is stiff compared to this material. This material is stiff and it doesn't move as easy. So, yeah. When you see these by themselves, you're like, okay, these are some pretty solid boots. But then when you put them up to a boot that, you know, is double that, double that amount, you can kind of see that it's a little cheap. It's a little cheap. Um, but to be honest, I still feel like there's still a place in the closet for these. Because you might want to wear these more often because you might not want to wear your more expensive ones as much. You might want to uh, wear these to, to, uh, to deal with more wear and tear because they are inexpensive. I also feel like these are good for people who may be considering getting into the boot wearing world, but they're not sure if they would like it that much. You can get these from Walmart's website, shipped to you in like two to three days. And if you don't like them, there's a Walmart pretty much everywhere. You just take them back to your, your local store and get your money back. It's that simple. So I would recommend if you're new to the boot world, try these out first before you try these. And if you're going to buy something like this, go for your first pair, go physically to the store because these are quite the investment. Go to the store and try them on. Do not make a blind purchase online. And I'm usually an advocate for online shopping because you can always get a good deal. But if you don't know how they how they should fit you, you you're not sure if you're really going to like them that much. You may not really be around a, a place and you, you don't feel like going through the hassle of having to ship them back and all those things. Go physically to the store. Try these on first, then see if you really like them enough to buy them. But if you're just trying to get a feel for boots, get these first. But keep in mind that what you're experiencing with some of this, like you don't like the heaviness, remember that there are many cowboy boots out here that are very lightweight and they're more comfortable. You just gotta go physically try them out. They cost a little bit more. So that's all I have to say on this. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. And I'm out. Thanks for watching.